Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video I have brought to you problem based on Merkabe Thieler method. In this problem we have to calculate minimum reflex ratio and minimum number of theoretical plates. So let's see an example. Pentane has a relative volatility of 3.15 with respect to hexane. A rectification column is fed with an equamolal mixture of pentane and hexane. That means feed contain 50% pentane and 50% hexane. Then the feed is 50% vaporized. The top product should contain 90 moles percent pentane N. The bottom product should contain 10 moles percent hexane. That means bottom product contain 90% pentane. Determine the minimum reflex ratio and the minimum number of theoretical plates for the operation. So in this example, we don't have given equilibrium data directly. But we have given relative volatility. So using the relative volatility formula we can calculate equilibrium data. Then we have also given that composition of pentane. In distillate and residue. And in the first part of problem. We have to calculate the minimum reflux ratio. And in another part we have to calculate the minimum number of theoretical plates. So first let's understand what is minimum reflux ratio. So as we know. At a minimum reflux ratio. Infinite numbers of plates are required for the desired separation. The formula of the minimum reflux ratio is. Rm is equal to. Xd minus y dash divided by y dash minus x dash. Where. Xd is mole fraction of more volatile component in distillate. Y dash is coordinate on Y axis of point of intersection of operating lines of rectifying and striping section and feed line. X dash is coordinate on X axis of point of intersection of operating lines of rectifying and striping section and feed line. So as we know at the minimum reflux condition. The operating lines of rectifying and stripping section. And feed line intersect the equilibrium curve at the same point. And at that point of intersection, steps become very close together. Hence a zone of nearly constant composition is formed near the feed plate. Now let's understand these from graph. In this graph we can see that the operating line of rectifying section, striping section and feed line intersects the equilibrium curve at the same point. This is the condition of minimum reflux ratio. And from this point we get coordinate of point of intersection as y dash and x dash. So to calculate rm first we have to find point of intersection. For that we should draw feed line and one of the operating line of rectifying or striping section. Now let's solve the sum. So the first step is by material balance evaluate the term f, x, f, d, x, d, w and x, w. For that let's assume bases as feed contain 50% pentane and 50% hexane. So as we know XF is equal to mole fraction of pentane in feed. So XF is equal to mole percent of pentane in feed divided by 100. So given that feed is equimolal mixture of pentane and hexane. Hence we get XF is equal to 50 divided by 100. So we get XF is equal to 0.5. Similarly XD and XW can be calculated. Where XD is equal to mole fraction of pentane in distillate. And XW is mole fraction of pentane in residue. So in this problem we have given. 90% of pentane is present in distillate. And 10% of pentane in residue. Hence XD and XW calculate as. Now next step is. Draw equilibrium curve and diagonal with the help of x, y data. But in the example we don't have given equilibrium data but we have relative volatility. Hence using the relation between y and x in terms of relative volatility we can calculate x, y data. So in this example we have given relative volatility that is alpha is equal to 3.15. And we know relation between y and x in terms of relative volatility as y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x. So by putting the value of alpha we get. Now let's assume x is equal to 0. 
so we get corresponding value of y is equal to 0. Now let's assume x is equal to 0.1. So we get corresponding value of y is equal to 0.259. So similarly for x is equal to 0.2, 0.3, 0.4 up to 1 we can calculate corresponding values of y. This values of x and y shown in the table. Using this xy data we can draw equilibrium curve. Now to draw equilibrium curve. On x axis x that is mole fraction of pentane in liquid phase is plotted in. On y axis y that is mole fraction of pentane in vapor phase is plotted. Now let's draw equilibrium curve and diagonal. Now third step is draw the feed line. So as we know equation of feed line is y is equal to minus q divided by 1 minus q into x plus xf divided by 1 minus q where q is fraction of feed that is liquid slope is minus q divided by 1 minus q and intercept is xf divided by 1 minus q so in the problem we have given feed is 50 percent vaporized hence q is equal to 50 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.5 so the slope is calculated as slope is equal to minus q divided by 1 minus q which is equal to minus 0.5 divided by 1 minus 0.5 so after solving this we get slope is equal to minus 1 then intercept is equal to xf divided by 1 minus q which is equal to 0.5 divided by 1 minus 0.5 after solving this we get intercept is equal to 1 from slope we can say that the q line or feed line should be 45 degree inclined now using the slope and intercept let's draw feed line for that first we locate point xf xf that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 on diagonal now measure intercept which is equal to 1 on the y-axis now let's draw feed line from point xf xf with intercept 1 now next step is find minimum reflex ratio that is rm so formula is so to calculate y dash and x dash we have to find point of intersection of operating line of rectifying section and feed line let's draw the operating line of rectifying section from x d x d which intersect the equilibrium curve where the feed line is intersect for that first we locate the point x d x d that 0 0.9 0.9 on diagonal. Let's draw the operating line of rectifying section from x d x d. Such that which intersect equilibrium curve at the same point where feed line intersect. In this way we get point intersection. So the coordinates of point is. Y dash is equal to 0 0.64. And x dash is equal to 0 0.36. Now we can calculate RM that is minimum reflex ratio. As from graph we get Y dash is equal to 0 0.64 and X dash is equal to 0 0.36. After putting the values in formula we get RM is equal to 0 0.928. Hence we get minimum reflex ratio is 0 0.928. Now let's calculate minimum number of trays. So in the second part we have to calculate the minimum number of theoretical plates. So as we know, at total reflux condition or infinite reflux condition minimum number of plates are obtained. During this condition, vapor issuing from the top is condensed. And all the condensed stream is fed back to the column as reflux. Also all the liquid going to the reboiler is vaporized. And is fed to the column. Hence we get F is equal to 0, D is equal to 0 and W is equal to 0 at total reflux. And Vn plus 1 is equal to Ln throughout the column. Hence the slope of the operating lines of both sections becomes unity. And hence the operating lines of both sections coincide with the diagonal. And the minimum number of stages are then required for a desired degree of separation is obtained. As the diagonal and operating lines coincide with equilibrium curve at total reflux condition. Hence by drawing steps between the equilibrium curve and the diagonal. 
from x t is equal to 0.9 till it crosses the value of x w as equal to 0.1. The minimum number of theoretical plates we can find. So to draw steps. Let's draw line from x t x t up to equilibrium curve. And the vertical line up to diagonal. And then this will continue till we reach or across the point x w x w that is 0.1 0.1. If we count the triangle, we get four triangles. As we know each triangle represents the number of trays. Hence we get minimum number of trays is four. So that's all about. How to calculate minimum reflex ratio and minimum number of trays. In the next video, we will see. Another topic. If you like my video. Please like. Share. And subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.